guys. My name is Grace, and I'm originally from South Africa, but we came here to America recently. And this is my first video on YouTube, so let me tell you a bit about my channel. My channel is about cooking, crafting, and chores. But today we're gonna do crafting. So this is what we'll be making today. A headband with a bow or whatever you want to put on. So you will need headbands. I got a six pack from the dollar store. Some ribbons, I got three from also the dollar store. Oh, four, I think, yeah, I got four from the dollar store. Some scissors, I've always had, I always have scissors. Double-sided tape, I also got this from the dollar store. Or glue, if you wanna make it permanent. Rhinestones, if you like, you don't have to use it. Flowers fe and feathers. You also don't have to use those. And you don't have to make the bow if you don't want to. But it's recommended that you do because it looks super cute. So, first, first you have to choose what color headband you want. So I chose this green one. And then next you're going to have to choose what well, ribbon. I chose this pink one because I think it will look great with the green. So you cut a long strip. I already pre-cut it. Um, and then you take it. It can be any long strip. It doesn't have to be a specific size. And then you take it and you fold it over once like this. You can adjust it later. And then you do it again on the other side. So then you can adjust it however you like. You can make it smaller, bigger, longer, whatever you want. So then you make, so then this is what my one looks like. Maybe I'm gonna just make it a little thinner. There. Nice. There. So then, so then you take that, you place it down. I use my scissors and then just make sure that it stays in shape. If it made, if it got out of shape a little bit, you can adjust it again. Oh no, my dear fellow. And then, so then after that, you take some double sided tape and you take some of it off. Try not to handle with it a lot. If it's too big like mine, then. Then you just fold it over and then fold it over again so it's small. Then you take it, you take the scissors or whatever is holding it off and then you place the double sided tape under the top layer. You can't really see it. 
But if I do this, then you understand. Oh, I know. So then, after that, you take another piece of double-sided tape and do the same thing. Or you can do this step with glue. Just put a few little dots. And then, let's see, got a little bit messy here. And then, you take this, you place it behind. Let me show you quickly. You place it behind like this. Ugh, the tape all over me. And then, you place this piece over it. Then, after that, you can just, you know, cut it a little bit. Oh no. So you just cut it a little bit, and then you can do it on the other side. So then, you got this. And then, sorry about the noise in the background. My, my family is just watching some news. You can add whatever you want. I'm going to add some rhinestones to my bow. Because it's going to make it look a little bit groovier. This is the groovy pack from the Dollar General. So, let's make it a little bit groovier. I'm gonna add some green gel stones. These are super sticky, by the way. Oh, my hand is stuck. Okay, so I'm gonna maybe add these to the sides. Like this. There you go, and then I'll do that on the other side too. So let's put it, so I'll do that on the other side. Uh, it's really sticky, so if you want your parents' help, you can get it. So then, you take that. So look at that. You can add more if you want. But I'm just going to make a little blue and orange circle in the middle. Oh, wow, that's a lot. I took a little too much. But it's fine. Ugh. These are really sticky, by the way. Okay, I leave that idea. So instead, I'm just gonna take a tiny orange one and put it in the middle to make it look cute. And then I take the blue and I take I take the blue and I put it all around it like a flower. Because I know 
that uh, in the 90s, they love groovy. And then this is a groovy, groovy bow, so. So yeah, and then we just, and then they love flowers, so really matches. <laughs> I'll be back in a gif, don't worry. There you go. Wait, let's just put this extra jewel away. Okay, so there you have it. Rhinestones. That's beautiful. So then, after that, ow, you need your tape and you just take it. You can do the same thing if it's too big. Place it at the back of the bow. Or you can use glue instead if you want to make it more permanent. Oopsie, some of my jewel fell off. So then, let's take my groovy headband and then you can place it however way you want. So I'm going to make this look really big on my head. Okay. There. Wait, let me take off my Valentine's Day one. And then, now I'm a 90s kid. So, this is how you make these little headbands. You can also make this as a cosplay for Minnie Mouse or anything. So, in case you want to get the stuff that I got. So, this is the set from the dollar store. It had a normal red headband, a normal green headband. Uh, a pink glittery headband, a blue glittery headband, a purple glitter, a, pur a purple normal headband, sorry, and a yellow normal headband. Then all the string is from the dollar store. I, uh, it was, I got the satin ones and then the rhinestones were from the Dollar General. And the flowers and the feathers were from the Dollar Store. And the glue was from the Dollar General. So, in case you ever want to get the same things that I got, that's, that's the things. So, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Bye!